Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. You're watching Lavon Baker, I'm Nicole, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make the ultimate baked camembert cob. It is a fantastic recipe, great for entertaining. It's pretty much like cheesy garlic bread, but next level. Just forget about any recipes that you've seen before. This one really brings wow factor and is so delicious and tasty. Whoa, whoa, whoa. wait, did you just see that? Rewind, you're gonna need to know how to make this recipe. We've got sweet and savory flavors coming through in this recipe with some crunch and some ooey gooey cheese. It's just gonna be one of those really great pull apart breads that you'll share with all of your friends and family and I promise you they'll be asking you for more. This recipe is also known as Camembert Hedgehog Loaf. As always, turn on the oven, 180 degrees Celsius, 350 Fahrenheit, and then just put a bit of parchment paper on a baking tray. For this recipe, you'll need a cob loaf or a sourdough. You'll need a wheel of camembert or brie. I've got some butter, some walnuts, some garlic, and some rosemary. And over here, olive oil and maple syrup. Oh, how good is fresh bread? There are a lot of beautiful, strong smelling flavors that come from the ingredients in this recipe, but I promise you they all work really well together. And if you don't like something, like if you're not a big fan of garlic, you can leave that out if you'd like to as well. If you are so inclined, you can also bake your own bread, um, but if we're short on time, like I was today, I've just picked up a beautiful fresh sourdough. This recipe is 100% dinner party worthy. I always bake this recipe when I've got my friends coming over and it's one of those ones that gets demolished in minutes and everyone just starts pulling it apart. It's gonna be so fun. The first thing I'm gonna do is start to slice my bread and I've just got a serrated knife here. It's gonna be much easier to use and I'm gonna start cutting this on a slight angle as well. I think it'll look pretty. So this is how um, the bread also has the name hedgehog because the appearance is like a hedgehog once it's all cut. I'm cutting this bread about 90% of the way through and I don't want to cut it all the way through because I want it to pull apart at the end and I want it to stay together while it's baking. Try and cut it evenly spaced as well for presentation. Beautiful, and one more over this side. Lovely. Now that my bread is beautifully cut this way, I'm going to spin it around and on an angle again, start cutting in perpendicular segments. And again, probably 85 to 90% of the way through. Perfect. So we haven't even stuffed the bread yet with all of the extra goodies, but this looks absolutely amazing. And these little parts here that we've just cut are what you pull apart into individual bite-sized pieces. Now we're gonna start stuffing the bread. So I'm going to go with the butter and the garlic first, and then I'll finish it off with the camembert and the walnuts and the rosemary. With clean hands, just start stuffing the loaf with all of the ingredients and just kind of space it out so that almost all parts get a bit of all of the ingredients. I like to cut my butter and my camembert into sticks so that it's easier to place in the loaf. Try 
I am place a little bit of the garlic in all of the different sections of the bread so that every part gets a bit of the goodness. And then we're going to start cutting our camembert. And you wanna cut this camembert into small slices or little wedges because it's gonna be great for placing into our cob loaf like that. Feels so taboo cutting cheese like this. I'm going to start to wedge these in and just make sure all the parts of the bread get a little bit of the deliciousness. Okay, you can do this really rustic as well. It's gonna look so nice when we're finished and um, the cheese is gonna go all gooey anyway, so don't worry too much, just as long as every part gets a little bit. Woohoo, check this out, we are fully loaded. Okay, I'm gonna start to sprinkle over my nuts and my herbs, and then we'll almost be ready to bake. Just kind of stuff them into any of the little spare nooks and crannies around. I'm gonna start cutting my rosemary um, just into three so that I can stand it up in the cob loaf and uh, people can take it out if they like. It's more for presentation anyway. This is looking great. Woohoo, look at this, so good. Yum, oh my gosh. I'm gonna transfer this onto my baking tray over here and then just drizzle it with half of the olive oil and half of the maple syrup and then you'll use the other half when it comes out of the oven. This shouldn't take too long to bake in the oven, about 10 to 15 minutes on a moderate temperature but we wanna cook it until that cheese is ooey gooey. Wow, this is absolutely amazing. The cheese has melted really beautifully. It's all scattered throughout, and I can see that the nuts have toasted as well. I cannot wait to eat this, it's so good. Right before putting this out for everyone to enjoy, just make sure you give it a last little kiss with some olive oil and that maple syrup. The maple syrup gives it that ultimate sweet and savoury combo. Oh my gosh, time to start pulling this bread and eating it. I'm going to go for this bit here, looks awesome. See how it pulls away really nicely? I also love it how the oil and the maple syrup kind of glistens on top. Mmm, just epic. This really is the ultimate baked camembert share loaf. Although I'm not sharing tonight. Just joking. so much for being here today with me baking in the kitchen. I know you're gonna love this recipe, I sure do. If you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for all tips, tricks, and recipes for the home baker.